New hope tonight for Stockton's Miracle Mile, the city promising to invest tens of millions of dollars in the historic district. The hub for business, entertainment, and family has often been a hot spot for major traffic accidents. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp is getting answers on this big investment. Where I'm standing now is where last year, 23-year-old Casey Bynum was hit and killed by a car. It was a tragic accident that shined a spotlight on a larger problem, the daily traffic issues here on the Miracle Mile. Business owners were excited to learn that a major improvement is coming to the area that they call the heart of Stockton. Ask anyone on the Miracle Mile. This stretch feels like home to Stockton natives. My whole life, born and raised. Terry Cano owns Majestic Barbershop and sees traffic issues daily. The speed control here, yeah, people drive really fast. Um, it'd be better if they had like sidewalks with lights on it or something and you know, maybe monitor the speed a little bit. His neighbors at Mr. Otto's bookstore agree. My dog here and I walk across that street twice a day, and I will tell you that if I had a dollar for every time I've screamed, that's a ticket, I would be a wealthy man. Something has to be done. Don't let anybody get killed. Don't let anybody else get killed. From safer pedestrian walkways to flashing lights and crosswalks, better sidewalks, more parking, the vision is clear. It's an opportunity uh, to create a masterpiece. And at a community meeting Wednesday night, leaders announced it's no longer a pipe dream, but a promise. $20 million in funding secured by assembly member Carlos Villapadua. This is the centerpiece of Stockton. All of the money will fund improvements on the Miracle Mile. That it will be spent in the most efficient, effective, and transparent way. Within two years, a transformation. The Miracle Mile expected to be better than ever before. Walkable, lovable, and the pride of Stockton. Stockton needs something like that. And especially putting money into your city, you know, for the people. You know, we need somewhere to go and, you know, take our families and have a safe environment. Another thing business owners want to see is a strict speed limit through this area that sees a lot of heavy traffic. They'd also like round the clock security so patrons know they're safe when they come to the Miracle Mile.